And welcome back to RuneScape episode 124. And then we have Regicide. Generate 56 agility. Which I'm going to maybe get at 56 agility by then. Probably not, but still. See, then there's Edgar's Ruse, which requires Druidic Ritual, which I don't, which you know, makes it so I can't check mark it. Which doesn't matter that much, because all it means is that there's a chance I might end up doing a double session of this. Because technically, I'm supposed to be have done a quest episode with this session, but um. Just because I don't have a quest ready yet, because Hero's Quest will be the next quest video after this. Um, that means that I need to keep on doing, like, sessions and stuff like this. Because <laughs> what I'm doing now is I'm doing a session of RuneScape, and then, um, three other sessions, and then, um, a RuneScape quest session, and then three more videos, and then old school RuneScape session, three more videos, and old school RuneScape quest session. I don't actually know if I actually have that next quest ready. Of Shades of Morton. Which, there was something weird. There was something weird with Shades of Morton. I better have given me some fire making levels. Cards for Empire Need. Magony Pyre Logs, um, Barbarian Fire Making Teal Logs, Papyre Ships, and Phoenix Air Funeral Pyre. Again, that is awful. Wow, they put 150 in a rare thing, except a single token, which is probably in common, is equal to that rare. I could see myself getting like two or three. Well, no, because I'm not going to play this for a long time after this ep this session. So never mind. Because the quest was all we're getting then.
What? Okay, they just like brandished a weapon at me or something? See, what are spotted kibbits? And can I potentially just use one of these? Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on, can... Because it's a falconeering thing. I'm going to carry it, although something tells me it's not going to work. Let's see, we have the Fremnit Trials. Let's see if these work. They're probably not even attracted to them. I have the crafting level. Machine level and woodcutting level. Okay. Okay, so basically that's the most I can do with the quest videos now. Yep. And brings one of the small birds over to land on it. Come on, I have to make sure you don't upset it too much. Considering I like to... What? Is it bringing it over me? Dashing cabots. I, be I feel like that supposed to be like the position that it was supposed to go at. But since we kind of was moving, you know, the thing just tries and get... Oh, that's a wild cabot. first. Hey, come back. Hit it. How do you miss that? 
There we go. You know what? I think I'm gonna go back to just um, pick part pick pocketing guards. And it, it's gonna bleed, it's gonna get rid of the glove. Yep. You know what, every stun, I'm actually going to find a new quest to do. Because I'm not... Okay, never mind. Pour from the deep. Which I have all the levels for. Because level's just 35 agility. Throwing a miscellanea. Oh, I get. Actually, I don't have to return to a bank, and I have the, the. I will have the quest and all that stuff for it. Yes. And then we have everyone's favorite Monkey Manus. So much so that Old School RuneScape got a Monkey Manus 2. For some reason. That we don't have it. Well, Monkey Manus you can just do after you do the two quests. Actually, no, I don't actually have those quests necessarily, so never mind. Do I have wisdom? No. Oh, I guess the uh, Lair of Tong Razlur was not... Because that's a 2007, right? I, oh, I thought the Lair of Tong Razlur would be like, connected directly to Haunted Mine. I mean, it is, but... You don't actually, um, it, it wasn't released, like, with it. Not what I would have expected it would be. Actually, I can, in fact, do the Barbarian Outpost thing. 
Because it's bark crawl, and bark crawl I need to do anyways for scorpion catcher. Haunted Mine, and I do not have Peace and Peril yet. Oh, no, 41 Agility. Show him easy cliffside shortcut. for yep because death plateau is the start of that okay <clears throat> and search of the mirror key has been crossed off Well, actually, it's not until the feud you can do Rogue Trader anyways, right? And we have the creature Fenkenstrain. Not the... Just creature. If I'd open the thing, then I'd know it didn't say the. Future Frankenstrain. This stuff is so far in the future, especially for the channel and uploading. Just because, you know, since I pay so much for a RuneScape membership and, you know, the gold premiere or whatever. You know, RuneScape is my MMO of choice since 2009. <coughs> so, um, it's, it's just, you know, every three sessions do a session of this. Because eventually it should balance out, but then again, that eventually is like in a decade or whatever, right? Ghost of Hoy, which is a very important quest for me because it gives me my Ectophile back. Which might have a small part in the reason why I'm not doing Slayer at all. for one small favor. I 
And we have one small favor. Which, you know, completely, um, you know, sort of, I mean, it's not a secret that Jake is British, but it's because, you know, favor spelled with O-U-R. The Mountain Daughter. Oh, well, you don't actually have to do Fermic Trials to do, um, Mountain Daughter. That's surprising. You know what? I should actually be paying a little more attention to my health. Because I have not at all. Oh, okay, apparently Between a Rock is actually before Giant Dwarf? Interesting. Because I was like, because Between a Dwarf, uh, Between a Rock is a Dwarf quest. No, Dwarf Ken doesn't need it. But, um, wow. Oh yeah, I forgot actually the Dwarven Mine actually has a dragon thing. It's not wind powered yet. Spoilers, but, I mean, it's RuneScape, I don't think people care about spoilers that much. Rock, we don't have the 50 smithing. We almost do, but we don't. So, why am I writing the check mark? And then we have the feud, which we have the levels for. But anyways, this is going to be it for this episode though, so if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya!